Hey you, it's Katie you. I was on the phone with my mom the other day and she was telling me how one night she was really, really bored. So she decided to just randomly watch Joy Luck Club, which ah, it's a heartfelt tale about a Chinese American woman trying to find their way in America. She said she was moved to tears sobbing because it really resonated with a lot of the struggles she went through about intergenerational trauma, the immigrant struggles, especially through the Asian American lens. And that got me thinking, you know, what if, what if? I recreated iconic AAPI film and TV looks. Here's a video very near and dear to my heart. Let me know if you think these are accurate because some of these were kind of hard to recreate. Let's get into it. We were inspired by the hall of Mueller in Versailles. And Donald Trump's bathroom. Really? Let us start off iconic Rachel from Crazy Rich Asians. We will be recreating her red dress moment when she's styling herself to try to fit in with all the rich international people. You need to not look like Sebastian of the Little Mermaid. You know, little crab guy. This is the closest thing I had. Boop. Look, look at this dress, dress girl. girl. Look, look at this dress. dress. What? But I obviously had to put my own twist on things with puff sleeves. Oh my goodness. I'm accepting auditions to be wed to the next richest man in Asia because I'm dressed for the part. Pray you get into Princeton. Don't waste your prayers on stupid things like world peace. Okay, next up we have Davey from Never Have I Ever. And I was so excited when the show came out because of the South Asian representation. I was like, it's about freaking time. She is fashionable for the age that she is, but it just gives me painful flashbacks to how I dressed to try to be cute under the weird high school dress codes. So let's give it a go. She wears a lot of orange. So I went for this. Let's do 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 do. Okay, don't be scared. This is not Davey yet, okay? Y'all would be scared at how many times I got dress coded as a high schooler. There were often times that like the teacher would be like, Katie, your skirt is too short. Go to the principal's office right now. And I would leave the classroom and I would just go to the bathroom and wait 10 minutes and then come back and be like, they said it was fine. Yes! I freaking love the cut of this orange square tank. It's actually so flattering. And then she has a sort of olive green jacket tied around her waist. And I figured that I would just make that the centerpiece of the bodice because I don't own striped shorts like that. This is like the exact shade, I feel like. So, whoop! You know, I would never put these two colors together, but they surprisingly work. Okay, David! And then for shoes, teenagers just wear white sneakers all the time, so I put these on. I'm sorry to my Asian ancestors who I'm defying. I'm sorry. I will back you before. Oh, yay. It ties in very nicely with the white on my tank. Davy, style icon. I'm sorry I doubted you. While we're on the topic, can we just check out this sexy hot sauce stain on my sneaker? There was just a container of open hot sauce on the sidewalk, and I kicked it and I still haven't cleaned it off. We're not done yet. She wears a very iconic red backpack. This is the red Kankin backpack that I decided on. It's like literally almost the exact shade too. So I'm very proud. Do I look like I'm in high school? I feel like I'm in high school. Ay, 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 ay. Although I do feel like I would be dress coded for this level of skirt. Whatever. I'm gonna recreate the exact thing that she says. I'd really, really like a boyfriend, but not some nerd from one of my AP classes. Like a guy from a sports team. He can be dumb. I don't care. I just want him to be a stone cold hottie who could rock me all night long. Thanks for considering. Let me give you some words of advice, Davey. Those stone cold hotties, like they're so boring after literally one date. So give those nerds from your AP class a chance, okay? They're much more interesting. <laughs> Next up, we have a classic, a childhood classic. And I'm actually kind of nervous for this one because her outfits are so simple. And the simple ones are often the ones with the least amount of wiggle room, but we'll see. One of her most iconic outfits is her hula outfit, which streamlines a lot of red and green tones. And obviously I don't own any of that traditional hula wear. We're just gonna try to streamline the colors. Instead of the hula skirt, I was thinking of these green cargo jeans. Three, two, one, voila! And then for the top, she wears a tube top. Don't have one of those either. I figured that this red scoop tank top would do. Three, two, one, 
Ooh. Love the red knit woven material. And I don't know, something about this shade of red, it complements this shade of green without making it look Christmassy in an amazing way. She also wears like a leafy wreath on her head. Don't have that either, but I do have a scarf that has no inch of green on it, but we're gonna pretend that this shade of blue is the closest thing. Headscarf moment. The key to putting headscarves on without literally agonizing and screaming for hours is tie it around your neck first and then you pull it over your head. <sighs> okay, get the earrings through. Oh my gosh, I did it! Yes, there's some level of green, blue, whatever. Just, just pretend that you're colorblind, okay? Yes, 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 yes. Penis is broken. Penis broken. <laughs> it's not called a penis. It's called a ding dong. Huh? Ding dong. Last but certainly not least, this is probably one of my top three movies of all time. Minari or Minari from A24. Love the fashion. People have been calling it Neutro, which is the new retro style. There's a lot of conservative lines and button downs, but it's put together in a very newfound way. I'm going to be dressing as the mom. Her name is Monica. Her outfits throughout the entire movie. Her probably most famous look is the yellow button down and the denim skirt while they're like walking through fields and stuff like, oh, so good, so whimsical. And we're gonna do this as fast as possible because it's really getting really freaking hot. I, once again, do not have the proper ingredients. I'm gonna get as close as I can. I'm gonna do this denim dress. We're gonna have to do some experimenting with the silhouettes because it's gonna be a little difficult. BRB. Ooh la la. This is the denim dress. I love the silhouette of it. I love how it's tapered, but also breezy, so it allows for a little bit of room. We gotta add that yellow accent that Monica provides us with. What I like to do when I'm layering any long sleeve over long sleeve is roll up the cuffs. It just creates an extra level of dimensionality. So that's a pro tip. I left this tie detail out, so hopefully we can create like a little preppy necktie moment, but we gotta do something about this. Ugh. Okay, I think this is what we have decided on. Monica reimagined to be a little more hip. <laughs> Listen, I do the best with what I can. We're resourceful, just like the Minari character. Oh, and she also wears her hair half up, half down, so I gotta do that. There we go. Oh, oh, gotta cover the boobies. And that is the final bit. Hey. All right, we are back in this dress, which honorary mention, I feel like this dress could be Joy Luck Club. Their fits are all very preppy and retro. Maybe I could fit into this movie, let me know, I'm not sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know which look was your favorite. Let me know which one you thought was most accurate. I love you again so much and I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>